hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is emma if you're not new welcome back but if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can join the emma biz clan so in today's video i am going to be creating this fall pinkish look i think it's screaming fall already so if you want to go ahead and see how i achieve this look then just keep watching i know it's been a while since i've done a makeup video i've had a lot going on school started for rory and it's just it's crazy so i decided to do a makeup video today because I haven't done one in, it's, it's, I feel like, you know, prepped my face and everything. So all we have to do is just jump in to do the makeup. These are the palettes I'm most likely going to use. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one um, just yet, but I went ahead and pulled it anyways. But for sure, I'm probably going to use this one. I kind of know what I'm going for. So let's get started. So before we go ahead and start the makeup look, I'm going to go ahead and put these on real quick because I do have my foundation and everything already done. My hair looks a mess, don't mind it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this one real quick and see what shade should we start with. Okay, so we're going to start with this one right here, which is Epic. And that's going to be our transition shade. I'm going to start that right at the top. I swear, I don't know if my lighting's good. I always have trouble with my lighting. So hopefully it's good in this one. I had another video that I was going to upload, but the lighting was absolutely horrible. So I was like, yeah, I can't even upload that. So that's another reason. That's another reason why it took me longer to upload anything or film anything because my lighting has just been on a whole other level. It just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> Same thing on this side. I'm going to apply it mainly at the top. This is going to be, like I said, our transition shade. And then keep blending. Once I have my transition shade down, I am going to grab a different brush. I'm just going to grab a regular brush like this, kind of flat. Um, and I'm going to use this more for like to get in the crease. And I think the shade I'm going to grab is Hidden Desert. Because I feel like that one's going to be a little bit darker and more pigmented as well. And I'm going to dab it like this on both sides. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to get right in the crease right here. Press it down. And once I press it down, then I'll begin to blend. So right now I'm just going to press it down in there. And then I'll start to blend. Done with that one, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other eye. The same thing, press down right here, mainly in the crease, like that. I don't know if you can really tell, press down here, and then I'll start to blend. And also, as I'm blending up here, I'm blending a little bit lighter than I am towards the end. Please tell me I'm not the only person that is in shock that it's September. I mean, like, I, it feels like we just started the year and now we're in September. And I'm like, dude, we haven't even done anything. That's, that's the crazy part. You can't really, I mean, you can't do much. I mean, you can, but it's best not to, you know, for health reasons. But it's just crazy because I'm like, we're ready in September. Where did this year go? You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy crazy I'm gonna put some more same thing right here but yeah I'm like it's just insane and then it's just crazy like you know that the year is already almost over Halloween is based already next month and I don't think we're gonna we're not gonna do anything I'm not comfortable taking the kids trick-or-treating and this was supposed to be Mondo's first year trick-or-treating because the first year one he was too little and it was super cold that year, or it was raining. 
think it was raining that year and it was cold so my parents watched him and then last year it was super cold i remember my nephew and rory had to wear a freaking huge raincoat like that's like it was a really really they had to wear a really really big jacket so he didn't go last year either you know so he's already messed up on two halloweens or two trick-or-treatings or whatever you want to call it and then this year i was like oh my god well last year i was like next year he gets to go he'll be bigger da, da, da. no so he's missing out another <laughs> halloween i'm like dang it so which i'm not tripping about it because he's not walking yet so um god's willing next halloween he'll be walking so then it'll be more fun but yeah so for halloween i think we're probably just gonna do like a little um since it falls on a saturday um i'm just grabbing more of that by the way um since it falls on a saturday i'm thinking we should throw like a little party here but just us don't invite you know don't invite people like it'll just be a small little gathering us maybe i'm thinking of doing something like that because i don't want to take halloween away from the kids like it's not their fault that everything is going on like in the world right now so you know it's not their fault that everything is the way it is so i'm like i gotta do something fun for the kids so i'm thinking of doing a little halloween party just for the kids so it'll be my kids and then of course my nephew that's probably it and then like do maybe decorate like i think i, I kind of know what i want to do so i think i'm going to do that for the kids so that they can at least enjoy halloween because like i said it's not their fault <laughs> so yeah so i gotta start planning that pretty soon well not really soon but you know because you gotta find ways to keep the kids entertained so now i'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease um but yeah so I was just rambling right now. I, don't know. <laughs> I literally was. Now I'm like, what was I talking about? Anyways, but yeah. I'm not gonna do it too far. Normally I bring it back a little bit more. But for this one, I'm gonna leave it kind of more to the front. Kinda. Not really. <laughs> I am going to grab just a tiny bit of air spun. I'm just gonna grab whatever, any little brush, and I'm just going to set where I applied that um, concealer. It doesn't matter what brush, just grab any brush just to apply some on there. Oh my God, why is it starting to mess up now? Done. Now, I'm gonna grab I don't know if I want to grab a big blending brush or a little blending brush. Okay, so I'm going to grab just this little blending brush real quick. And the shade I'm going to grab now, before I even apply the next color, I'm going to go ahead and grab All Night, which is this darker shade right here. And I'm going to apply that on the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to press that just like this. I'm not blending it yet. I'm just pressing it down. And then as I'm pressing it down, I'm bringing it out as well. Not a lot, just a little bit. Now you can blend. Light strokes. Same thing, you're gonna press it down right where you want it. I need a little bit more. I think I took too much off. Press it down. Bring it out a little bit. And then blend. Once I'm done with that, I am going to grab just a regular blending brush and I'm going to grab some of that light shade, which was Epic, the first shade that we started with, and I'm going to apply that just at the outer corner right here, just to make sure the the darker shade and then the other, the first shades blend a lot better. So just right here is so I'm focusing it there and I go up just a little bit. 
like that. Same thing on this side. Focus it at the end. Bring it up just a little bit. Because you always want to make sure everything blends nicely. see if I I'm gonna go ahead and play, apply pink on my um, on my lid I don't know if I want this pink or let's see if I want this pink this one this one I feel is more bright so I'm gonna go with this one because I feel like it's more like it's brighter and I feel like it would just I don't know I like that one better so I think I'm gonna go with that one because I feel like it's a lot brighter and then if I need the other one I could always just go back and grab the other one as well so we're just gonna be turn it up okay let's see if it looks good I want that one. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this one. Oh, also, I am patting it down as I'm applying it on my lid or pressing it in. I would say, yeah, pressing it in. That's that sounds better than, yeah, pressing it in sounds a whole lot better. to grab a small brush and I'm going to clean up the crease just a little bit the first palette and I'm going to grab this one right here which was hidden desert just a little bit like I'm literally grabbing just the tip of the brush tap off the excess and I'm just gonna focus this at the top just like that that way in case I went up too high with the pink or anything it'll clean that up for me and also it makes your cut crease look a little more sharper too okay since I already took them off I'm gonna go ahead and grab my beauty sponge and just press in just in case it messed up anything which it shouldn't have but just in case and my freaking eyes are watering. I hate doing my makeup, dude. Right, now I'm gonna grab some eyeliner because this I feel needs a bold liner if I can find. Dude, I don't drop like freaking ten things. If I so, like I said, this one I feel like it needs a bold liner, so I'm gonna extend the wing out pretty far. So I do need to clean the end, like right here I still have some, um, not fall, yeah, like fallout where I blended right here, so I gotta clean that up. So I am gonna clean it with concealer in a second, because I feel like that needs to be fixed. Alright, so my liner is done. Now, I feel like my nose looks pink, um, where's my brush, where's my brush? just a little blending brush and blend out that concealer <gasps> got some in my hair okay grab just a little bit more you don't want to put a lot on your brush when you do this because it's just it's not a good idea to do I'm 
and then also bring it down like that so it's not such a harsh line. This one I have to fix because I did mess up a little bit right here. Like right here, I went up too high, so I'm just gonna clean, just put some more liner on it and you won't even tell that I messed it up. I'm done with that. I'm gonna grab some mascara real quick. Any kind of mascara just to put something on. Okay, so I'm about to play my lashes. Also, I've been doing this trick recently. I don't know if I've showed y'all before, but I always put just a little bit of um, eyelash glue right here at the front and a little bit right there. And I feel like it helps your eyelashes stick a whole lot better. Not that I had problems before with my lashes, but you know, you always want them to be just a little bit more secured. So just be careful to not get it on your lashes because then it hurts like when you pull them off. So just be careful be very careful they're actually shelby from miss a and the reason why i did the wing a little bit out like more dramatic i would say is because the way these lashes are so they make that wing look more dramatic so that's why i went ahead and did that because i already knew i was gonna wear these these were my go-to a long time ago i don't know why i stopped wearing these they're so freaking pretty so pretty Try to get it as close to your lash line as possible. Let them chill a little bit, and while they're chilling, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some pink. And I'm grabbing it from Pure Festival palette, in which I'm grabbing this one right here. So while my lashes are drying and doing their thing, I'm gonna apply this down here. this girl do this on TikTok, and ever since i saw her do it i'm stuck doing it so whenever your lashes are basically already almost dry or completely dry you know how they're still a little bit tacky so if you feel that your eyelashes are not always stick because sometimes i do have trouble with my eyelashes getting like um getting stuck right here like in that little part so you get your eye your finger <laughs> your eye you get your finger like this and you just press down like you close your eye and you do this and you do it on both sides so if there's any gaps from your eyelashes and your eyelid you once you do that it like clamps like it sticks to your eyelid a little bit better and then you have no nothing there so i don't know her name i wish i did because it was just i was just like you know going through tiktok and i was like ooh. so yeah you learn something on tiktok i'm gonna put another coat of mascara a little bit darker like that With this little brush I'm going to grab some highlights and I'm going to apply that on the inner corner of my eye let's hope it doesn't trigger my eyes and make them run more or water more because my shit is on a whole other level today and I'm just going to apply that right there at the front. Also, I'm going to grab just a little bit and I'm going to apply some right here. Cupid's bow because I'm gonna go ahead and put some lipstick on real quick too. I don't know which one I'm gonna do. Grab my Real Her liquid lipstick and it is matte, which you know I love matte. 
Mm, yeah, that looks okay. So whatever concealer is on the brush, I'm not going to put anymore. I'm going to clean right here because I went out too much and then I clean right, and I'm going to clean right here also. Just because I went out a little too much. Okay. So, now I'm going to take my hair down so I look a little bit better, more presentable. I have a black dress on, like I said. I did my makeup. I wanted to feel too pretty, just so I can go chill in the living room, because that's what you can do right now. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. It's not too much. I did want to play with color, so it is pretty. I feel like it's already screaming fall, so I'm excited to do more fall looks, because those are, like, my go-to looks. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications so you do get notified every time I post a new video. And if there is any particular videos or videos like this that you would like to see, leave it down in the comment box below. And thanks for watching. Bye!